Ready, go. Ready, go. So in the down the line view, as you can see, during the backswing, the club goes flat. Yeah, I can see a lot better now. Mm. Yeah. So backswing is kind of slow, and then you're introducing this motion early, and then down so you start by shifting and then turning, but that's uh, too much shift, and then. Um, too much shift towards the target. Mm. Okay. So that shift uh, has to be introduced early in the backswing as a recentering. So shift away and then recenter first and then go instead of go here and then shift and then try to swing. So we'll uh, just focus on the backswing and then try to increase the dynamics of backswing. Okay. Mm. So here, uh, let's do the the stage three of the two-step swing. So assume your regular stance, and then throw the club toward the target first. This is the trigger motion. Mm -hmm. Using the trigger, you are introducing fast the back swing, and then it makes you just throw the club this way instead of trying to intentionally use your wrist. Okay. So trigger followed by good back swing, and then fast the down swing. Again. Okay. And also, uh, during the backswing, you tend to use your arms quite a bit, but it has to be coming from your shoulder turn here. Okay. Go here and using the body turn, pelvis in the shoulder turn, and then bring it back instead of okay. using the arms. And um, you're currently going this way first and then try to uh, have the trigger motion. Just go straight that way. Yeah, okay. let's start from here and then throw this way. Because later when you uh, uh, transition from this to uh, the regular swing, then when you, go, when you start from here, then it's more difficult. So from here, using good body action and throw. Yeah, and then with that body action, you will also be able to use the body motion going back, yes. Mm-hmm. And then in the trigger motion, your goal is not to move your body uh, the way you want, but rather you have to pay attention to the club motion. Okay. So it should be good continuous club motion, and then you are generating it with body, but instead of having uh, too abrupt the body oh. motion, try to have a good uh, continuous club motion. So your body, will, you will use your body, however, mm -hmm. it has to be continuous, okay? Now the back swing can be a bit faster. That doesn't mean you're snapping with the arms, but rather using the body, but make it continuous. And then make, make the back swing faster. Yes. So basically, forget about what your wrist to do in the backswing, mm -hmm. and simply give good trigger and with that active backswing, and then let the club go all the way around. Mm -hmm. Yep. The trigger is a bit too big, oh, and then it's it's a too uh, violent. So make it, uh, it should be fast, this motion is fast, but instead of like this, pay attention to the motion of the club head. The club head motion should be continuous. Okay? Mm. And also, it's okay to relax your wrist here so that you can have a little bit of a wrist motion here, instead of, okay. so here. Hold, hold it, hold it. Go to this way, and you can allow this motion. 
Okay. So if you add the wrist motion at the at the end of the motion, it's okay. Okay. And then from here come down, and then here and then add with the big loop here, and then add the wrist motion here. Mm -hmm. Adding wrist at the end is okay. Mm -hmm. On the way down, come down this way, and then adding the wrist motion here is okay. Okay. So you can add the arm. Uh, arm in the wrist motion later, but not at the beginning. Hmm. Yeah, so in, in moving back and forth, pay attention to the clip head motion. You have to nicely move the clip head fast enough and also smooth enough. Okay. Okay. The, the whole, whole thing is the, the final outcome, which is the clip head motion. Uh, you can make a backswing faster. So use the, use the trigger well, and then have faster backswing. Again. So from now on, let's repeat this several times, then you will be able to uh, develop good continuous motion. Mm -hmm. the, the trigger motion is a bit too big, so let's make it about this high here, okay. instead of going all the way. Yeah. Try to make that uh, as your target position. Okay, now give me the fastest motion you can make all the way, all the way. Okay. <laughs> this time during the back swing, when you try to make it, it was a snappy using the arms. Okay. So still it should be body driven, body driven. Use your shoulder turn well. Mm -hmm. And then connect everything, connect everything. Instead of a whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. Again. And then particularly in the back swing, give enough shift this way. Like mm. Oh, let's, uh, let's try to do this. So fold your arms, lean forward. From there, first without turning, shift it to the right. So bring the, the right hip over the right foot. Then from here, try to turn around the right leg. And like this. Okay. And then try to stand tall, to raise the right hip, and then you can also lower the left hip here. And then tap, 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 tap. Ah, you still have a lot of, yeah, yeah, this, this. So you have and then sufficient uh, weight on the right side, mm -hmm. and then stand tall here, stand tall, and then almost the no uh, weight on the left side. Yeah, I want, to, I want you to move that much. From there, shift the left, just uh, without turning, just shift the left. Then your left leg, left knee is uh, flexed, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to go to this position here. Mm -hmm. and then push the ground with the left leg and then turn around. Yes. Okay. So shift away. Shift away and then recenter here, and then boom, using the leg. So that recentering motion and then start lowering the left side that has to be done during the back swing. Okay. Okay. Again, shift away, recenter, and then kick the ground. Yes.
So make it now continuous. So shift away, recenter, and then kick. Yes. Hmm. So what happens is uh, when you do the trigger correctly, when you do the trigger correctly, actually you are in this position here. Okay. If you uh, have a good shift to the left side during the trigger motion. Okay, when I'm like that. Yeah, yeah, and then have a good turn here. With that, this push, and then you will be able to start the backswing here. Okay. Yeah, and then give enough shift and then turn around. And then now you have this shift motion. Okay. Yeah. I feel more over the foot. Mm. So by using the trigger, in, in the trigger motion, you have to have a good shift that way. So shift it this way, and then using this coming back here. So then the shift, uh, shift right will be easier. Yeah, and then... Now push this and then, yeah, so that's continuous, yeah, something like that. And then actually in the real swing, you don't have to shift that much, the upper body that much. So this is somewhat exaggerated. But that's how far your hips. Mm. Okay. So your pelvis has to go enough. Where it's almost stacked over the foot. And then the here, angle. yeah, yeah. So then uh, you want to have the feel of uh, uh, reverse pivot posture. Okay both ways. Yeah. So again, the body will move that way. And then make sure that you have a continuous motion of the club head coming down here, the, let it go. Mm, mm, mm. Instead of whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Again, so in order to have a good trigger, you have to have a good shift. So shift, always, always you have to have a shift motion. So instead of just standing still, your body has to have this fundamental rhythm of shifting right and left. Yes, like that. Now, make the motion make the motion faster, but in the transition, you will have uh, more time. Okay. So instead of rushing down, so in the backswing, instead of just going here, mm, rhythmic motion, mm, and the weight here, give this motion the weight, and then bring it back, and the weight, and then let it go. So try to uh, ride the rhythm. So make it fast, make it fast, all the way, really fast. Uh, you, you, you are moving too much, you don't have to do that. So, uh, so ultimately the whole thing should be controlled by leg push. In, instead of intentional weaving motion, the leg push will give you that shift. So leg action is really important. Still, it's a, uh, slow, it's a slow, because you are paying too much attention to uh, the shift motion, yeah. the turn is actually slow. So use the legs actively, push, push, and then make the motion really fast. Again. In order to uh, help you to have good rhythm, so let's dance with me. Okay. We'll have the so-called shun dance, shift the turn dance. So try to match your body motion to mine. Okay. So here, fold your arms here. So we're shifting to the left, right, left, right, left, 
right, nice motion here. Right, left, right, left. Do not make the motion too complex. Okay. So it's easy shift motion with the turn here. Shift turn, shift turn, shift turn, shift turn, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep, keep doing it. No, so no need to intentionally do this weaving motion. Just the shift turn, shift turn, 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 shift turn, shift turn, shift turn, shift turn, shift turn, shift turn. This much. No need to go too far. Okay. okay. So again, shift and shift turn, shift turn, shift turn. Yes, now you're matching to my motion better. I can see it uh, in the oh, monitor. <laughs> ship turn, ship turn. Now drop the arms here. Ship turn, ship turn, ship turn, ship turn, ship turn, ship turn. Shun, 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 shun. One, two, three. Wind up. Let it go. So again, so that's the idea. Mm -hmm. So fold arms, shift turn, shun, 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 shun. Feel the rhythm, up and down motion. Okay, this uh, is a dance basically. So up and down, up, left up, right up, left up, right up, left up, right up. It should be rhythmic, feel the rhythm. Up, up, left up, right up. One, two, three, wind up, let it go. So the motion is uh, like this. Mm -hmm. So more than anything, you have to feel the up and down motion. Okay. Dance like this. Then everything moves correctly. But if you don't have much up and down motion, just to try to create the lateral motion, mm -hmm. then you too much shift okay, in that's the waving motion. Okay. Yeah. So everything should be coming from the leg action. Push, push, push up, push up, push up, push up. Okay. okay? Yeah. So with that sort of uh, shun dance, then again, stage three. Again. They make it really fast, really uh, active, while making it the club head motion continuous. Yes. I think you are uh, shifting too much the upper body. So, so imagine this cone-shaped space, triangular space here. Mm -hmm. Your lower body can move a lot. The upper body does not move as much. So again, if you have to swing, and then it'll be like this. Swing, swing, active uh, low, low body action. But the head is not really moving that much. Okay. Yes, that's a lot better. So actively move the pelvis, but not your head that much. Oh, yes. Good. Trigger, bring it back. Swing, yes. And then, so now, now, let's make the back swing turn a bit more, a bit bigger. So instead of just to bring it here, try to have the feel of adding this final shoulder turn at the end here. Mm. So your goal is mm, going this way here, instead of just giving the wrist motion here. Mm, you know, try to add okay. a bit more shoulder turn at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So really now the downstream motion is coming from the Google shoulder turn. Okay. So by, by adding this shoulder turn at the end here, you will also delay the downswing turn. Okay. Yeah, so very good. So in the, in the backswing, just to try to let the club go out, and then all you need to do is have good shoulder turn. Okay. Again. Yes. Yeah, you have really good timing. All right, then I will record this. Um, so ready, go. Yep. So now the whole motion is a lot more continuous. Instead of, oh, yeah. you, you're flowing. Flowing a lot better. Okay, ready, go. Having good shoulder turn. Yeah. So with this, you don't have to worry about intentionally doing anything with the wrist. Yeah. Because you are just letting it go around. Yeah. Now, let's do, uh, again, stage three. I will watch from this direction and then see whether your swing plane is adjusted. The same thing, stage three. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Better? Yeah, the swing plane is a lot more towards the target now. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Now, let's add this, this field here. So on the way down, when you start the downswing, you are pulling the club along the shaft, so drawing a sword from the sheet instead of cutting something, right? Okay. So try to keep the club close to the body. And then the best way to do that is let it go more out and come down here and then coming here. So image that you are moving the club head along the shortest path possible. Okay. So you don't want, not even like that, but just closer? No, the, so when you when you draw, imagine the the, the club is a bit uh, curved here. Mm -hmm. Then you are drawing the sword from the sheet. Keep going that way. The club head will stay relatively close to your body, right? Okay, yeah. And then let it go, so that you have to feel that your left arm is fairly extended at the impact, okay. instead of this motion. Yes. And then when that happens, actually, you will be able to adjust the swing plane this way well. Okay. Instead of letting the hand go out, you're moving the hand this way here. Yeah. So good trigger and a continuous motion. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with that, with that, if you keep the club close to your body, then all you need to do is just to add the wrist motion later. <sighs> Let it go. So, so on the way down, just to try to throw the hands and the club toward the target. Yeah. So I will watch from this direction. And no need to keep the left arm really straight. Just the, you can flex it a little bit. So just uh, don't try to put a lot of effort here. Okay. Make it as easy as possible. Good trigger, backswing. Yeah. 
And then keep a more shorter turn at the end, remember? Yeah. So with that, with the shoulder motion, you will start the downswing. And then let it go. Yeah. Now, let's swing really hard. So in front of you, you have a big pinata with a lot of treasures inside. Okay. When you hit it and break, then everything is yours. Okay. And then particularly, remember, we did this dance, shun dance, and then so you have to have more leg actions. So connect everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your, your glasses will fall off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So the best is just to repeat this motion again and again. Okay. So for a while, diligently work on the stage three. Okay? And uh, as you repeat this more and more, your body will automatically uh, look for the most comfortable flow, comfortable pattern. So, uh, Not two or one, like the drill? You, you just let your body figure it out, okay. just uh, by repeating uh, this motion again and again. Okay. So again. So all you need to worry about is uh, instead of uh, paying attention uh, to uh, the body, just to pay attention to clavet motion. You need to have a continuous clavet motion, fast clavet motion. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> And then now, now, let's do uh, the horizontal swing. So keep the body upright and then try to swing the club horizontally with a comfortable, uh, you know, hand position. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. And then try to uh, try to have a more horizontal swing this way. Mm -hmm. Again. And then when you start the, the backswing, currently your arm and the clip is too rigid here. So you are going a lot, but let it go easy and then bring. So relax here a little bit. Okay. So instead of um, turning like this, yeah. feel the motion of the club and work with it and then bring it back. So you don't have to be, use that much uh, rigid uh, you know, arms. That's better, yeah. That looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. Now, now here's the secret. As you approach it to the end of the backswing, so from here, as you approach the end of the backswing, squat slightly. With the right. Squat and then particularly shift the body to the left. So you can have a good left knee flexion here. And then on the way down, when you start the downswing turn, push the ground with the left leg and then turn around. Yeah, again. So use the and that's horizontal. Yeah. Horizontal toward the end of the back swing, squat, and then you start the downswing by kicking the left leg hard. You didn't lower your butt that much. Instead you leaned forward. Okay, I leaned towards you. So so just no, so the Keep the body upright, upper body upright, yeah. and then go here and then squat instead of. Okay, I got you. 
again. Yeah, keep the, still keep the body upright and then really try to uh, squat instead of leaning forward at, uh, toward the end of the back swing. Again, <laughs> not much squat. As you squat and also shift to the left, yeah, then left knee will be uh, flexed. Then by pushing the ground with the left leg, you'll be able to turn actively. Ah, <laughs> the left leg is not, not uh, that active for some reason because you, you are used to just the shifting yeah. this way. But go here and then lower here and then by kicking the ground. <laughs> so wait, you have to wait until the leg kicks the ground and then turn. So instead of leaning forward, try to, try to go this way and then lower your body. And then from there, by kicking the left leg, Turn around. Okay. So in order to uh, use the left leg, you have to shift and then put weight on the left side and then push. Yeah, again. Mm, again. Still, you are pretty much you are just uh, shifting. Not much actually lowering here. So look at this. Currently what you're doing is go here and just shift and then swing. But if you squat, So use the left leg more. Allow, allow your body to use the left leg more. Yes. 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 So what I see now is, as you allow your, the squat motion, yeah. You're having more time okay. at the end of vaccine mm -hmm. instead of rushing, right? Yeah. So go here and then allow more time here and then start the downswing. So you're having good time here. So again, I will watch from this direction, horizontal swing. Mm hmm Yeah, so instead of using too much shift motion, you have to use more up and down motion. So with that, you will be able to increase the level of um, uh, rigor. Again. Now, let's assume the uh, typical uh, swing posture here. So lean forward, and then try to implement that in the swing. Again, uh, toward the end of back swing, allow lowering slightly, and then using the leg action, let it go. Okay. Yes. And then with that, you have to have a good understanding of what your body is doing. Currently, the turn is coming from this. Yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's good. So again. Yes. Yes. That looks that looks good. So now you have no idea what your hands or what your wrist is doing because you are not paying attention to that. <laughs> so really the body motion is a lot more flowing automatically. Mm -hmm. You just uh, need to uh, worry about how you work with the ground and how to move the clip head nicely. So, okay. So give me three more. Yeah, good leg action. Yes, that's very good. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> look at that. Yes. So instead of uh, giving a lot of shift motion, now you are using up and down motion. So, so that was what we were looking at in the backspin. I was getting like too far like that. So all you need is to have a just a reasonable recentering and then lowering the body. And then by pushing the ground, you can turn around. So instead of finish the back swing and then, then try to shift quite a bit and then try to swing. Okay, so I was... No need, to, no need to actually shift it this way too much. That's what I was saying. Yeah, no? that's uh, excessive motion. So when you add that uh, vertical motion, mm -hmm. then your upper body moves this way less because a lot of it is coming from this action here. All right. Well, when we were looking at the screen, that's what I was doing. I was going like this. It's a too much. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah, shifting too much. Okay. So when you use the left leg nicely, then no need to go that far. Okay, let me record this. So have, uh, use the left leg actively. Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. So this was a, the previous one, okay. It's just a mostly horizontal motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you are pushing the ground with the lead leg here. Yeah. Hmm. So you hit this and then finish pushing here, but now with this more standing here. <laughs> this is your initial swing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Versus. Yeah. This is very different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, always this is uh, my, my hobby. By comparing the initial swing and yeah. <laughs> the final swing, just uh, Tease you, uh, yeah. So then I can't sway as much with the upper. Mm. And then you are shifting and then try to lift it, lift it up here. But That's what I should do? No, it, that was what you were doing. But now it's, everything is just flowing. So you're not doing that. You let it flow. Yeah, this is really good. So give me a good leg action. So whenever you, you, f you forget how to use the leg, then go to the horizontal swing. Okay. Horizontal swing and then squat a little bit and then by kicking, let it go. So then the downswing turn will be more this motion instead of shifting that way. Mm. So, okay, again. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that looks that looks a lot better so instead of shifting a lot now you're really using you start using the the left leg and then kick it let it go so then this becomes the main driving force for the downswing so now, and also the back swing and the down swing are better connected. And you also have more time up there. So you will have a longer transition period, transition time. Mm -hmm. In your data, it was almost none, right? They were quite close to each other. And the, pretty much everything was uh, transitioning at the same time. But now you, you have, uh, by having more time here, you will elongate the transition time, transition phase. Mm -hmm. So you will have a more sequential transition everything uh, improves. So again. Hmm. 
and then now make the back swing even bigger. So go more wider and then, uh, so yeah. So make, uh, by using the trigger nicely and then have a really active uh, back swing. And then similar rule applies. If you want to have an active back swing, okay, you can use the right leg. Okay. Like uh, you're using the left leg in the down swing. So go here. Stand tall on this side, and then if, when you shift it this way, if you flex the knee slightly, then with this you'll be able to push the ground really well in the back swing. So go here. Instead of using, again, horizontal motion and then try to turn, go here by lowering the right side and then flex the knee a little bit, and then with this push, and then bring this up, and stand tall here, and then tall here. So let's see if you can do that. So always, uh, it's a matter of using the, the legs actively. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's actually, it looks more rhythmic. Yes. So this is something you have to uh, practice a lot, OK? So instead of relying on the horizontal shift, then you really use the legs and then create this up and down motion. Yeah. So that means uh, your, your leg, your knee should uh, show good flexion extension, right? Hmm. Yes. So the whole rhythm is dictated by that vertical rhythm. Then you, you will not fail you know, your horizontal rhythm. Okay. So when you have a good vertical rhythm in place, then the horizontal rhythm automatically follows. So you cannot rush when you have good vertical rhythm. Yeah, yeah. because you have, during the back, you have a good push here, and then the next push here. So between the two pushes, you cannot rush. When you don't have the vertical rhythm, then you can do this. Okay. Yeah, but when sure. you have leg actions, mm -hmm. and that, that dictates the whole rhythm, then you cannot rush. So now, as you swing uh, back and forth, use the legs actively and then try to feel the, the shun dance. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now I'll watch from this direction. Mm. Yeah, let me recall this. So you are becoming your swing motion become uh, be, is becoming more rhythmic. Okay. Once you uh, you know understand the rhythm, then you will enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy the rhythm. Okay. Ready, go. Hmm. So instead of leaning a lot, now you are using up and down motion to drive so everything. So I'm not leaning as much anymore? No. Okay. Ready, go. So there, you know, the, the, when you look at the motion pattern, the motion pattern changes gradually. So in this one, you are, when you introduce the, this is the previous one. Mm -hmm. When in, you introduce the backswing, you are more relying on the leaning here. And then on the way down, you use the leg. So that's what we practiced, but now. And then we added the back. Yeah, now the last one, you see. So. On a regular swing, but some people almost like add flex into it right away and then. Yeah. So, what should happen is that in your case, you are starting with the equal amount of force. Yeah. Okay, in the back swing, but actually, you need to have more force on the left side first. So, by using this, you are shifting this, so introducing this motion. Once you have that, and then push and increase this force here. Yes. And then you will have the feel of standing tall here. Yeah. 
Yeah. So now let's connect. Let's connect the stage three and your regular string. So uh, again, try to have a rhythmic stage three and then do uh, the regular string as if there is a ball there. And then regular swing, try to uh, utilize that rhythm. Yes, yeah, that's good. I felt that a little bit, but I think that was but, but that's good, yeah. So you are, you are using the initial shift. And then, uh, so what matters is as long as you connect your backswing to downswing well, then a lot of things change automatically. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, always uh, have a good active initiation of the backswing. But then for that, you have to actually use the lower body. It's not just the turning around, but you have to uh, have active legs. Okay. Again, stage three. So this time, the, the turn was a bit late. And then before... Yeah. Before the turn is completed, you already started shifting. So give a good, during, in the backswing, the image is, your target position is go away and then also going to this position. It's all included. So here, mm, mm, and then let it go. So use the right leg really well. Yes. And then try to uh, utilize the left leg in the downswing, right? So stage three, stage three, and your regular swing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's change, change. Good, good, good. So again, again. So I will record this. Okay, ready, go. Oh, oh, your regular swing. Regular, you go. Regular, you go. I'm excited, so <laughs> I forgot what to do. <laughs> Okay, stage three and the regular string. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the swing is now keeping more uh, rhythmic. And then you, you uh, I feel it, yeah. yeah, and now we're feeling it so well. So it is uh, not a bad idea before you start the swing have a little bit of, uh, you know, up and down motion is okay, or this motion is okay, but you should have uh, up and down component and the uh, lateral motion component, right? So first start here, here, mm, mm. So having this kind of rhythm is really important. So when you have this kind of rhythm here, you can always start this and then bring it back. So anytime you can start the motion. But when you don't have that kind of rhythm, then mm, when to start? You have to figure it out. Yeah. Right? So always uh, try to have an internal uh, metronome ticking. And then you, with that, you have a little bit of uh, body motion here. So that prepare your body before you start. And then start instead of completely uh, starting from the static position. But uh, stage three and the regular swing again. So it's a matter of uh, just uh, 
rhythm and uh, you know you are the the musician you are playing the instrument which is your body okay with the rhythm in place mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I can see that now. Uh, before you start vaccine, you have that rhythm. Very good, very good. That's a good uh, uh, plan. So, okay, again, stage three and the regular uh, Let me uh, record this. Okay, ready, go. Mm. And they're ready, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So more than anything, you just uh, now, you're not intentionally doing the wrist, so <laughs> that part is all solved. Okay. Yeah. Then you're just mainly paying attention to the flow here. Oh yeah, I couldn't fit. I couldn't think of the hands at this yeah. point. <laughs> There's too much going on. Yep. So you're letting it go and then have enough backswing here, which is good. The club head uh, on the way back went about this high and then on the way down this high. So pay attention to how far the club head goes. So on the way down now you are using way uh, in order to pad here. Go out and then coming in. So mm -hmm. you have this. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like the Grant White thing. Yeah. yeah, throwing the sword here. So this is also good. And um, so all you need to do is just to keep uh, working on it. So this time, let's, uh, uh, this is the last one uh, to do, okay? okay? In stage three, what you will do is uh, on the way down, on the way down, try to actively throw your arms toward the target. Okay. okay. When do I feel that? Kind of like here? So here, here, go here, and then as you kick the ground and the turning the body, and then also try to throw hard here okay. toward the target. So instead of just the kicking and then let it go here, okay, passively, Intentional try to swing toward the target. Okay. So add, the yeah, add the arm motion and the wrist motion toward the later part of the downswing. But all you need is just the, the feel of throwing the hands and uh, throwing the hands toward the target actively. So with that, you will be able to bring, drag the club a bit more, and then you will be able to, uh, yeah, something like that. So. Yes, you see, that's uh, you know where you get the speed. Okay. Yes. So now, because uh, your lower body is uh, providing necessary connection with the ground, then all you need is instead of using the wrist early on as you did uh, in your initial swing, bring it here and then let it let it go, let it through. Now we're hearing a very different sound here. Yeah, and you want that right when I start pushing with the left? The leg will start the pelvis turn and the shoulder turn, and then initially the body will start the turning, mm -hmm. and then your arm action here. Bring okay. the arms more here and then let it go. So it's a little after that. So all, yeah, all you need is uh, just to have the image of throwing your hands toward the target actively. It will also give you a more, uh, you know, drawing sword uh, feel. Yes. Yes. 
So you will be able to get the distance you lost. So this is, this is the, because uh, the timing of the wrist action was uh, incorrect. So in your initial swing, you started early on here. Mm -hmm. But instead, bring here by using the leg and the body here and then throw the arms. Okay. So it's not right when you're pushing, it's more like open and then. Yeah, yeah. Your goal is just to throw the arms a bit later, adding the arm motion later. Yeah, with that, you have to keep the club close to your body and then let it go. So almost like, a, almost like you are guiding the club down here and then let it go. Okay. Instead of earlier, you know. Yeah, that so again, stage three and the regular swing as well. Yes. Yes. That's a... That's really how you generate the speed. Mm -hmm. You know, the same uh, muscular conditioning and everything, so without changing anything, by reorganizing your motion pattern, you can generate a lot more speed. And then it'll be also easier because um, you're not using this, but rather using more bigger muscles here, and then finally let it go here. Yeah. And you're not intentionally manipulating the club motion mm -hmm. with the wrist, right? Yeah. So, so this is the idea. So you are reprogrammed. There we go. But again, use uh, legs more. Mm -hmm. Vertical. Okay. And then particularly in order to do that, you have to have this dancing feel here. When, when you have this in place, then you will not be able to rush here. Mm -hmm. So the, the overall timing is dictated by the leg actions. And all you need to do is <laughs> let it go. Okay. Yeah. So, any questions? No. Is it just so? I think the only thing I have a question. So, I push up, and then I start falling. And it, yeah. So that ha that happens naturally. So no need okay. to intentionally yeah. do this because you have a good push, and automatically you have this, right? So as long as you do not intentionally create this shift motion, okay. Then that's yep. that's perfect. Oh, I forgot to record the last piece here using the arms actively. So. Now, add your arm action later, and then, so give me the last one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready, go. Oh, I forgot. What's wrong with me? You want three again? Three and regular swing. Right. I'm so excited. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. The regular swing. Mm -hmm. The regular swing. Yes. So now you are putting effort at the right timing. In, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Regular swing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Regular swing. So when you start using the legs well, then the transition from stage three to regular swing is a lot easier. Yeah. But when you don't have that vertical rhythm in place, then it's hard. When you eliminate the trigger motion, then suddenly you know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to keep working on this rhythm diligently. And uh, once you build that confidence, then you know that you're hitting farther then you will be able to enjoy you know, the rhythm and just uh, enforce it. Okay? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> mm. The 
the speed is good, but it's a bit too rigorous. So uh, how about this one here? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So I have a stand tall here and let it go. Yeah, feel the rhythm. The, in the back swing, you have to guide the rope nicely, so no need to rush. Swing and have enough time and then bring it back and let it go. So the back swing plane and down swing plane should be the same. Currently, your back swing is too uh, violent. So you work with the rope, work with the rope as if uh, it's a baby and then uh, Back swing plane is a bit too flat. Back swing plane is a bit too flat. Yeah, currently, back swing plane is too flat. So I'll try to bring it a bit uh, more upright. Okay. And then make sure you have the consistent swing plane back and forth. So currently, your back swing plane and down swing plane are different. Why so, is that? Is it just not pushing it up? Yeah, here you are going too flat. Here. Okay. Mm. So the spine has to turn around the spine axis nicely instead of if your spine moves this way, then uh, you will guide it uh, flat. So keep it, keep it here, spine is turning this way, and then bring it back and forth instead of this motion here. Okay? So maintain uh, consistent spine axis. Yeah, it's more consistent now. Swing. Yes. Yes. Now add the vertical rhythm. Swing. 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 Yeah, that's more consistent now. Swing. Swing. So you can quickly adjust your body motion. Yeah. So when you swing the, the rope back and forth, make sure you are using consistent swing plane back and forth. As long as you are moving it consistently, that means that you adjust your body motion successfully. So you are not adding any unnecessary movement. So go back and forth between the rope and the club. Actually, your, your club swing may have that violent component. But when then, I'm shifting, yeah, yeah. not the... Yeah. Then by using the rope, you can adjust it and then go to the club. Okay. Yeah, so what, ideally what should happen is uh, during the back swing, you have a little bit of reverse pivot posture instead of going more like this. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. So. yeah. So while still you, you feel uh, the up and down feel here, but go this way and go this way, this way. Yeah. So you can mix the rope swing and the club swing. And whenever you deal with uh, different devices, you have to really work with the device instead of trying to dominate. Okay. And because they have different characteristics, you, you have to understand that and guide, your, guide the device correctly, right? Mm -hmm. So going back and forth is really good. And then already, you know, less than uh, two minutes, your rope swing got a lot better. Mm -hmm. You said the same more. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you have orange whip, orange whip is also a good tool. Okay. And... Um, Kettlebell, so whichever you find, always try to come up with a consistent motion back and forth here. Yeah? Particularly when you deal with the devices with the very different uh, physical characteristics, that will help because uh, overall you will be able to develop your motor system. Okay, mm. yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, so awesome. I think it was good to uh, <laughs> try that the rope swing.